So he's my executive producer, but I'm calling him my taskmaster. And he's asked me to identify, this is a hard task, identify one strategy that students can take away with for the SAT. It's like, dude, there are dozens of strategies. They cover five sections of the SAT. You want one? So I thought, here it is. The one that covers so much ground is in reading comprehension, and it is to know what you read as you're reading it, not wait till the end. This is different from what a lot of kids were taught. Oh, read the end of the article and then think about what you just read. The SAT and ACT, it's such a dense test, intricate at times, that to not understand a paragraph and to wait for three more paragraphs to go by and try to put it together, you're going to get hurt. And so it's also a not a natural thing to stop. Think, what did I just read in that paragraph? Because you want to get to the end, and you rarely in school ever had a task like the SAT that says, we're going to hit you with a question on that paragraph. And another one on that paragraph, okay? Most English teachers are asking for big picture stuff. Give me a chapter summary. Give me a theme throughout. So you can be, in your schoolwork, kind of lackadaisical. You got to be vigilant on the SAT. Now, interestingly, it's not a bad task for better reading in college, too. And maybe even for life. Being on with what you read, knowing what you read, as you read it and not waiting to the end. I don't want my students to say at the end, oh, what happened? Because then you got to go all the way back and figure it out and time has been ticking. Figure it out as you go. You will be well served.